Hey, it's Sharon here from Content Sparks, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zoom to record your slideshow videos. So, the first thing you're going to do is sign up for a free account and then sign in to your account, which I'm going to do right now. And you'll see that you come to this dashboard. So, the first thing you want to do is schedule a meeting. And it doesn't really matter what the meeting's called because it's going to be only you in this recording. You could do more than one person, but we're just doing for slides, so it's going to be just, just you. And then you can set it so for any time because you're going to start it immediately and then just save that meeting. So once you've saved it, you'll see a whole bunch of other stuff, none of which you have to worry about because you're just going to start the meeting right now. If you don't already have Zoom on your computer, you'll have to download and run it. Otherwise, you're going to open Zoom meetings. And here you can see that there's a control panel and it says you are muted. So it's important to start immediately by turning the unmute on. Don't worry, you're not recording anything yet. So I'm unmuting it so that anyone who's on here, including the recording, can actually hear me. You'll see also there's an option to start video. If you do want to have anything on camera, you'd need to do that, in which case you would click start video. And then here I am. So you can see me on camera. And if you do do any on camera, make sure you're looking at the camera. If you're looking at yourself, it's going to look like this and it just doesn't create any connection. So that's why it is nice. A lot of people just prefer to do the slideshow video. Otherwise you turn the camera off. I'll do now. So you stop you stop the video and then what we're going to do is we're going to share a screen. So I'm going to share my PowerPoint slides and I'm going to be able to record. But the first thing before you hit that record button, you need to have everything ready. One of the things that I do to make sure I'm ready is I have some notes handy so I can show you those. So here I've just done some bullet points for this particular video that have key points that I want to remember to cover. For the slideshow videos, uh, the ones that we do have speaker notes underneath the slides which you can print out and have by your side so that you can just glance down at them. Or you can create your own little bullet point thing in Evernote or elsewhere. So I have those notes handy and then you want to set up anything that you need to share. So you want to have your slides open. I have them open here. So you can see this. Uh, I also use two monitors, so if that's an option for you, you can put these on a different monitor. And when it comes to sharing screen, you can, you can have that and make sure you share that screen. So here you can see I have them set up, but they have the thumbnails and the, and the speaker notes showing. So I'm just going to make sure that those are out of the way, both of those, and put those down below here. So now I know these are sh set up. I can hide them again and I'm back to my meeting panel. Now remember, nothing is being recorded yet because I haven't hit that record button. Now also make sure that you are camera ready if you're going to be on camera. So for example, here um, you might want to adjust the distance of the camera, make sure that you have sufficient light. I happen to have a window on one side and a light on the other, which isn't great. I would probably adjust that a little bit, but it's not a huge deal so long as people can see you when if you do get on camera because it's just connect, creating a quick connection. For the slideshow video, you might want to do this little introduction like this, then hop into the slides, and then maybe go back again at the end. So I'm going to turn that camera off. Make sure that you have some makeup powder, whatever you use on. Even if you're a man, you might want some powder to get rid of the shine. And then turn off your phone, notifications, close out all your other tabs, and make sure anyone in the house knows that you're going to be recording. So the next thing you want to do is actually share your screen. So you hit share. And I have a lot of things open here, but I'm going to just find the screen. Actually, I'm just going to share the PowerPoint slides for you, which you can see aren't actually showing up here because I hid them and closed them. So I'll go back again, close that out. So I'm obviously not ready to share and I'm going to open them up again and just minimize them a bit 
so that you can't actually see them so they're not taking up the full screen. I'm going to, with my other monitor, move them off to the side so that you can just see that I'm going to be sharing or you can just move them kind of out of the way here. And then I'm going to go back to my control panel here and now I'm going to click share and now you can see the slides. So that's an important thing to notice if you minimize an application like the slides in your window, you won't actually be able to see that. So now I'm going to hit click share. And now what you're seeing here that has the green around it, that's what people are seeing. Just that one thing, that one application. So when you start talking through it, when you're ready to record, they'll only see that, just this whole screen. So I'm trying to do this based on if you just have one monitor versus two. Now, if you see down on the bottom here, when I hover over this, this is my controls right here. I take it away and it doesn't show. Hover over again and you'll see all my options. I can start my video again if I want. I can pause sharing the screen or in order to record now, you don't see that record button anymore. Since I'm sharing the screen, I'll have to go over the more and then hit record. So before you hit record, you just sort of take a deep breath, make sure you're ready and record. And now anything that I say or show is going to be in the video. So you would start introducing yourself. This particular one is about three simple time management strategies for small business owners and just talk as if you're presenting and you can use your mouse to just scroll through so you don't have any clicking going on. You introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Sharon Sheldon from Content Sparks, and in this video or this session or this lesson, whatever you're calling them, I'm going to talk about time management and how you can earn more and get more done in less time. And rather than jumping in immediately to the points, you might want to introduce some other things about yourself and your experience to build credibility, add some slides in, and then start talking. But don't just read the bullet points you want to add some stuff about yourself. So you might say, do you ever find yourself at the end of the day wondering what exactly you accomplish? The answer is yes, you're not alone. I have the same issue. I have so many things done when I, if I ask myself at the end of the day what I've done, I couldn't even make a list of that. And that happens most days. Now you can use these bullets as your guide and have your notes about examples right next to you. So you just keep talking through. If you mess up, if you have a video editor, you can just pause for a second or do a clap like that. See, I hopefully you heard that. And then when you go back to edit, you'll know what you need to edit out. Otherwise, if you keep things really short, like just maybe 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes maximum on a video, if you mess up, you won't, you can only have one little thing to re-record. So this one I'd introduce, prioritize, plan, produce is the, the three P's that we use to make things, to do things as efficiently as possible. And I continue to talk through, uh, I would take out slides like this if I'm doing it as a recording, because I'm not going to ask questions or debrief. And then when you get to the end, you'd make sure you have a call to action. Now in here, say this is a uh, something for a lead magnet, you might want to talk about a sales page or you might want to introduce somebody to a different course or you might want to tell them to start the next lesson, anything like that, but have them do something at the end. And then when you are done talking, again, you might want to go back on camera. Otherwise, you're going to go back down here and if you do want to go back on camera, you can just stop the share and go back on camera. Otherwise, I'm going to click on more and I'm going to click stop recording. And now everything is done recording. You can just continue talking if you're on with somebody else. But if your recording's done, you need to end the meeting. And for that, we go back in here again. Go back in here in the more and click end meeting and meeting for all, even though it's just you, that's everyone. And now you'll have this little thing pop up that says join meeting, but you also have this thing pop up because it's converting your recording. 
and then you're going to be able to save that when it's all done. And it says you may convert your recording later by double clicking the zoom file located in the recording folder. Unless it says otherwise, you know, if you don't see the pop up that asks you where you can save the recording, it will automatically save it to a zoom file on your computer. So once this is all done, I'm just going to X out of it. And you'll see this pop up and give and show me where that Zoom recording is. So in here, it's gone into documents, automatically Zoom created a folder, and there's my slideshow meeting the, with the name of it. And it gives you the audio only, some sort of playback file, and the MP4 that you're gonna use to uh, create any other videos. And you wanna rename that and save that in a folder with your other training videos. So that's all saved. I can close my slideshow, my meeting's done, and you're ready to go. So if you want to edit, I use Camtasia. Um, you can find free editing tools, or if you've done it really neatly and you've gotten used to it, you may not need to edit it at all. And as I said, that's come up in a folder. So I can actually show you the little bit that recorded. So I'll open that up. Record. And now anything that and I there it is, the show is going it's to be recording and it only shows so the slideshow yourself, this particular one is and your video is ready to go. So that's it. Uh, let me know if you have any questions at all. There are some other options for recording your slideshows, for instance, using Camtasia or Snagit or even using the built in PowerPoint recording feature, and I have a separate tutorial on that, which I will link to in the notes on this one. Take care, and again, let me know if you have any questions at all.